and welcome back to Minecraft episode 226. Last episode was a doozy, 30 minutes, man. I can't do that all the time, but I did it that time. Because I'm not a jerk. I mean, I tell you I need the money, but to do more, but I'll give you I'll give you what I can when I can. All right. Yeah, lots of wheat. And then I got I doubled my seeds right there. Well, it was I had 10, so almost doubled. So let's do it again. We can fill this whole area now with seed lands and build up even more wheat cuz the idea which I was given a while back, I think it's season 7, was to um put your uh put a bunch of wheat on your person and then take it with you when you go into caves you uh you can make pit stops and just put the the wheat in the inventory when you run out of bread and just make some right away so you can re up on health and that's a darn decent idea i uh that's m g i approved right there, but you gotta have the wheat first so all that all them skeletons I killed that's what the nice thing about having a mob spawner uh overhang right by where your base is is that you have access to plenty of skeletons. So you don't have to wait till nighttime or go into a cave. You can just get them right there. I probably should build a, a path or something on here so I don't keep stepping on the crops. The tilled ground, but whatever. No big deal. I do it this way. And I should have waited until all the soil turned good, but I didn't. Yeah, see, that that turns bad right away. Maybe I'll just make it three across. See, that one already sprouted. Not bad. All right, so more bone meal, because I've got plenty, and I can always get more. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, you leave uh, a bunch of seeds planted and not tilled, so that when you go off adventuring, as long as you don't go too far, when you come back... They are ready again. All right. Now that is progress right there. This is how we power farm. <laughs> and now I got 38 seeds, so we're gonna plant one more. Um, cause what time of day is it? I think the sun's setting, or or will set soon. So I'm gonna plant this final field over here couple of these pieces of ground got destroyed because I ran on top of it, but most of the soil is good. Because I can reach this from here. It's just kind of a stretch. There we go. Because now I have more seeds than I do spaces. Or is it 30? I have 36 here. Yeah. So this is a full farm right here. And I can see it from the base. I got a nice viewpoint from right here. And I'm going to fence it off of course, so that the mobs can't get in there. The good mobs, the friendly mobs, the cliff pushers. And Donation Island is back, of course. When I actually get some donations, I'll put some stuff there. No, I'm just kidding. I'm going to put the, 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 the buildings from the donations that I already received. But that's from a while ago, guys. If you, want, if you want a house and a city over there, you know, a couple of dollars. I got a donation for two dollars the other day. Well, guess what? That person's getting a house. Because that's all it takes. Two bucks. You can't afford two bucks. I understand if you actually can't give me money. Like if you don't have the ability to use a PayPal. Or I've heard a couple people say their parents don't trust me. Hey, that's fine. You know. I'm only offering uh, a, a rare gem of you know clean entertainment online. No big deal. But if that be the case, that's fine. But every single one of you guys purchased Minecraft. So you had $15 for that. Just saying. Don't mean to make you feel guilty. But let's be honest. Is my entertainment worthy of, uh, you know, some revenue? I think it is. I think I have uh, done so much for you guys. And I ask nothing in return. But I encourage donations. It just is important to me. Because what's going to happen? I'm going to be able to get a job in the field of game design and development okay that means I'm going to have an extremely much larger amount of time to work on MGI 
which means you're going to get your 30 minute videos every day. You're going to get your contests and your daily wheel of funds. There's not going to be no gaps in the up video uploads. All of that will be solved. But right now, I don't even have my own place to live. And there's circumstances behind that, but the fact remains. I, uh, I do what I can. But without income, without revenue to support this, this is just like public radio. Same thing. They ask you for donations constantly. That's why I have the gifts page. I'm not just asking for money. You get stuff back. Now, I'm adding more stuff to it, but it takes longer. So, enjoy that rant. Chew on that for a little while, and uh, I'm going to keep going. The night has fallen, and I, uh, I got plenty of this wheat stuff here. So we're going to sleep in the bed again just to make sure it works. And then... I'm going to set up for battle, because I'm going to go to the, I guess it's the east, I think it's the east I'm going to run, and look for some of my my uh, previous locations that I was at so I can get uh, some bearings here and build some mine track systems around that. So I don't need the flowers, I don't need the gunpowders, obviously I do not need the gravel. But I can make more arrows. I didn't make arrows in the first place. Oh well. Yeah, I got enough. I don't have the sticks though. Did I leave any wood in the chest? I don't think I did. I don't think I left any of that stuff in there. Not even an axe. I don't see it anyway. Well, let me get a couple of sticks of wood. Just to make those arrows in the bow. Oh, here's an arrow right here. Aaron Mobile. Excellent. So there we go. And I didn't make an axe. Oh well. I'm only getting a few few pieces of this stuff so I can re-up. And then it's off to the far east. Hey, I got a message from a viewer of mine about the Far Lands. And I'm thinking about doing a Far Lands exploration as a, as a bonus episode. Now, I don't know what's going to happen because it, it, they say it's pretty laggy out there. But for those of you that don't know... The Far Lands are what Minepedia and the Minecraft community in general refer to as the edge of the Minecraft map, which is the, the outer reaches. Like if I just stood here and ran for about 800 hours, 820 hours, I would hit the edge. Now there's still stuff out there, um, but it's weird, man. I mean, it is terrain like you have never seen before. And I'm thinking about doing a little uh, NBT editing and running out there and seeing if I can uh, I can explore it and try to build something out there. I don't know. It's not going to be a whole season because I have a feeling that the lag is going to be so incredible. I won't even I won't even get a chance to make anything. But I think it is an interesting idea to just go and see that place and try to to make it function. It's just not it's not like like this. I mean, it is epic terrain, but it, it makes no sense. There's there's dirt and and rock from the ground to the ceiling, and there's these tunnels that go through it that just seem to go on infinitely. It's like if you took a, a piece of this map, like five blocks wide, and just stretched it out over an infinite plane. And the physics are really bad out there. Items don't don't sit on the ground right. It's just it's a weird experience, but it is yet another strange and wonderful Minecraft experience, so I'm, I'm considering going out there and uh, doing a little exploring. Not in this season, though. Uh, not like, not in this, in this map, because um, I might ruin it. You never know. But now I got the bow. I got myself some accoutrements. I have plenty of torches, or at least enough. Uh, however, I don't have the clock anymore because I lost it. And that just means I'm going to have to go find some more gold and deal with it. See how much bread you get out of this? That's almost a, a full inventory's worth. And then I save the wheat and uh, tell you while we're at it, let me take care of that iron. I don't think I have any more iron 
So it looks like I'm getting a breastplate and a pair of shoes out of the deal. Unless there's some over here. No. No, breastplate and shoes. That's all I'm getting for armor as far as that goes. But we want we want arrows. There we go. 38 arrows is going to do me right. I got the cookies and the bread. So that's that's a nice a nice uh, thing right there. The cookies are going first, and then I should be able to survive with what I have left. I guarantee I will pick up more bone meal on the way. So we're setting up for this adventure. We're going to do it right. Um, no, I'm not going to make new tools. I'm just going to use the ones I have. Even though an iron sword would probably be smarter, I'm, I'm okay with just this one. Put my cobbly there for building purposes. And one workbench and one furnace, which I have right here. Bring the furnace and the workbench along for later. But yeah, I do need a couple of more planks, so let me uh, let me throw down quickly a axe, and I'll chop up some wood. I'm actually going to bring the axe with me and cut the wood as I travel. That way, it's uh, it's all good. So how's this iron doing? All right, sweet. That's enough for the braced plate. But yeah, we got to set up for these sort of things. You can't just run out right into the wild without in uh you know all your all your stuff together you gotta plan because you've seen that when i haven't planned or I, i've died and have been running around in the middle of the night with uh not a care in the world i uh you know didn't do so well especially now that the skeletons increase in in uh intelligence even though some of you are never going to agree with that, I'm convinced that they have a intelligence algorithm built into them. I mean, it's not like this is anything new. Enemies have been, in games have been programmed for intelligence for a long time, so it's no surprise that Notch, uh, you know, got on that bandwagon, found some Java code, oops, found some Java code that had some uh, intelligence scripting in it, and used it. I mean, that's where he got a lot of this code was from scripts that he found on the internet. It's like, you don't know how to do something? Look it up. You don't even have to go to college anymore, as far as I'm concerned. You can just search what you need. Now, that's not going to make you a master at it, because the classroom setting um, has a professor, which might be able to explain things differently than uh, a resource on the internet. But I'm just saying that I've seen Notch write code on his old live streams and when he didn't have a piece of code he went and he copied and pasted it now he understood what what he was grabbing but he didn't write absolutely every line and letter from scratch he downloaded it or should I say copy pasta it's a beautiful thing a lot of coders use that stuff because it's useful you don't have to you know know absolutely every line that you're gonna write <clears throat> oh hey chicken I need feathers oh yeah double prizes so yeah, Notch copy-paste, so there's no reason for me to believe that he did not copy-paste um, a, uh, a code for a uh, mob intelligence program. I just, I believe that he did. <laughs> and if not, fine. But if you watch my, my first set of seasons, and then you watch them now, uh, the way the mobs behave, there is a very identifiable difference between the mobs of then and the mobs of now and that you cannot deny because all I got all you gotta do is watch my videos and there's the proof right there simple can't deny it go ahead that'll make you look like a fool <laughs> alright so we are on the hunt oh hey mushroom I should really go in the nether and get some of those soup is superior in my opinion and, and it is easy to get Nether's not hard to navigate, and I would love to see what the nether in this map looks like. If the terrain of this is this epic, imagine what the nether would be. So I'm running across the what appears to be the forest or plains area. I don't see much, but I am going to run into the coastline. And that's, that's a valid indicator that I have to go either left or right. I'm thinking I'm going to go left. <clears throat> I'm thinking all this stuff is, is in that direction. Because this... This actually reminds me of of the old in-dev maps where they were re the really long. When you chose long, it wasn't very wide, but it was long, and then there was ocean as far as you could see. 
So that's what we've arrived at here. And in the next episode, I will continue this exploration effort. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.